Hi guys, this is Sherry from JustSherry.com and I'm going to share with you how I kicked my coffee habit to the curb with no withdrawal. Good morning. Let me tell you something, people are always shocked when I tell them that I don't drink coffee. And people who have known me for a long time are even more shocked because they know that I did have a daily coffee habit. Every day I had at least one cup of coffee, sometimes two on the weekend, and I had to have that first cup of coffee within two hours of getting out of bed or I'd have an excruciating headache for hours and hours and hours. So people ask me, well, how did you get off coffee? How did you avoid the withdrawal? How did you survive? It really wasn't that big a deal. See, in the past I had tried on occasion to go the cold turkey route and it sucked so bad. So this time, what worked for me was going gradual. I went for one month from drinking a full cup of coffee to half a cup. What I would do is I'd prepare my full cup of coffee just to get the measurements of sugar and milk right and then I would immediately dump half of it down the sink so I wouldn't be tempted to drink the whole thing. Then I'd be left with half a cup of coffee, I would drink that and I was done for the day. If it was the weekend and I was kind of sad and wanted, you know, sad that the coffee was gone and wanted to taste the coffee a bit more, I'd make myself a cup of decaf. But mostly that half a cup a day was all I needed and I would just go on to water from there. And I didn't have any kind of withdrawal symptoms. I didn't feel sluggish and I didn't have that stabbing head pain that I would normally have if I skipped coffee. And that made it a little bit easier. After doing that for about one month, I decided it was time for phase two I cut the coffee out completely. At first, just for psychological reasons, just to keep with the ritual and also because I enjoy the taste, I would make myself a cup or two of decaf coffee. But once the decaf ran out, I was good and I didn't really need it anymore. And instead of coffee, I would make myself a cup of tea. Usually I'll have a cup of green tea in the morning. Sometimes for a treat on the way to work, I'll stop at Tim Hortons and get myself a cup of my favorite tea, which is chai tea with nothing in it. And I would drink that and that's all I needed. I didn't miss the coffee. Now, I know before you leave a comment, I know what you're thinking. A lot of people tell me, but Sherry, there's still caffeine in tea unless you're drinking decaf tea. I know that and my goal was never ever to escape caffeine. It was just to escape the coffee. Now, there's a lot of reasons people give for wanting to drink coffee and a lot of reasons people give for wanting to stop drinking coffee. For me, I wanted to cut out the coffee habit because of my anxiety. Now, Coffee never caused my anxiety, but it didn't help either because it would give me the jitters, and I hate jitters, and it would accelerate my heart rate kind of in a way that mimics the beginnings of a panic attack. And like, as somebody who has anxiety, I can tell you we don't need other things in our lives that we're putting purposely into our lives mimicking panic attacks. So that's why I decided to stop. However, caffeine in tea does not affect me the way that it affects me from coffee. So I can drink a cup of tea and be very peaceful. I don't get jitters. My heart doesn't start going boom, boom, boom. I'm fine with tea. So I'm happy to keep drinking my tea every morning and I'm happy to not have to have my coffee every morning. Sometimes I miss it, but it's the taste that I miss. It's not the jolt, it's not the energy. So I, I don't miss the coffee for any of those reasons. Sometimes when I smell it from a coffee shop or when my husband's brewing a pot of coffee, I'll miss the taste of coffee. But he bought me a nice can of dark roast blend something something decaf coffee. And, you know, maybe once every three weeks or so, I'll make myself a half pot of, of decaf coffee and I'll drink that and I'm satisfied and I don't need real full-blown, fully caffeinated coffee. So that's my story. That's why I stopped drinking coffee and how I stopped drinking coffee. At this point, it's been a little over a year and a half. I started my half a cup in December of 2011. By January 2012, I was ready to kick it out completely and I'm doing just fine without it. But I wanna know your story. Something motivated you to click on this video and find out how to get off a of coffee without the withdrawal. Let me know, why do you wanna stop drinking coffee? Why do you want coffee out of your life? How are you planning to do it? Are you gonna to go to cold turkey or will you try some of my tips and maybe gradually wean yourself off? Leave me a comment below to let me know what your plans are. And if you've got anybody in your life that is also trying to get off of coffee and you think that they would be helped by my tips, please, by all means, share this video on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+, wherever you hang out with your friends so that they can benefit too. But before you do any, any, any of those things, click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos in the future. Have a great day.
That's a wrap.